Good morning, Gunther. Jacks, this is in what's where are we in Nebraska? Gordon. Gordon. Gordon, Nebraska, yeah, Gordon is Nebraska. Nebraska is the closest place. Uh it's we're like smack dab in the middle between three towns, Merriman, yeah. High End. It's about ten to nine. Ten to nine. We're gonna drive off. Felt great to sleep. We're really grateful for for Jack let, letting us stay here. He's been a great he's been a great host. <laughs> this is Jack's every day. That's just just range. keeping keeping these no, Fawn Lake is the range. Fawn, oh, Fawn, Fawn Lake, Lake range. range. Okay. Keeping these buffalo in check. So do you always drive the truck around or do you ever drive like a four wheeler? Oh yeah. Yeah, we got four wheelers and uh, razors and shit. Nice. Chasing on four wheelers. <laughs> Yeah, we've just been sitting here talking. It's been great to be at Jack's house. Really cool to finally see where he lives and everything like that. Well, Kyle says he's about to shoot a gun, so I'll try to get that on video. A little bit. What kind of gun is that? 4570 Marlin. 4570. Like they'll curl your pubes a little bit. <laughs> really? <laughs> These ones have a little extra kick. Rolling with the fatness, you never quite know what the Wait, what are you Snap. what are you saying like about a factory round? What is it going to be like compared to that? It's not going to kick nearly as much. Oh, it's not. It's no. Why? Because you put in more oh, gun powder. Way more powder. Those are almost probably compressed powder. It means that like where the powder level is in the casing, when you push the bullet in, it compresses the powder. A pack load or a hot load. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. This is a 308. This is a gun that's gonna, or this is the bullet that's gonna be in Scar 20. This is the size of the one that you just shot. Look at how much more big around and how much more dense. Yeah. Because this bullet goes all the way down to about here. Stopping a buffalo in its tracks. If you shot a buffalo with this, it wouldn't do much. Do you think the 4570 would though? Absolutely. I'll show you here. <laughs> video. I got, you got it all on video. It's like this is your standard 22, about standard 223. 223, like okay. 223, that's maybe 55 grains. 5.56. Yeah, so this is a same deal. 55 grains. 55 grains. Yeah. Then that's uh, this would be what's in the an AR. the AR15 or um in 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 David's terminology the SG on T <laughs> side. Then this is like for a 30 cal. That's 160 uh 68 grains. Holy cow, okay. Then you're getting into that's 300 and <laughs> that's 325 and that's the 4570 yeah then you get in this is a wait so what did you say this is three how many grains About 325 325 and that's 405 grains that one for 4570 both of them are yeah good grief so why do you have what what do you use a 4570 for fun just for fun yeah it's it's not like designed for killing buffalo yeah or that, yeah that's what the original I mean, that's what that cartridge was designed for. It was to stop big buffalo. animals, really. Yeah, big animal. Huh. Dude, I can't believe the kick on that thing. That's absolutely insane. Just out here saying our goodbyes. Bison, rather. So what do you call them? Being being an actual <laughs> buffalo man, what do you call them? Bison or buffalo? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> bison. All like the, all the gurus say bison. They're bison. Yeah, it's good. I grew up. I grew up calling them buffalo. I'm calling them buffalo. They're buffalo. Okay. Good. 
All right, I'll call him Buffalo then. Update? Update, um, Kyle, <laughs> I was just pulling out, like, we just stopped at the gas station, got some Subway, got some food. I'm pulling out, gonna make, she's like, you're not gonna make that turn, you're not gonna make that turn, not with that tr thing there, not with that thing, you're not gonna make it. I'm like, whatever, pulled out and made it easy. easy. Like, easy, like, easy, Kyle. lemon squeezy, like, easy. Kyle, sitting here being negative. Just outside of Gordon, Nebraska here. Yeah. We're on our way to Rushville. And then straight on to Chadron from there. It's gonna be a wild ride, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We're starting to see a little bit of change in uh, in uh, scenery out here. The the tall grass is kind of going away. There's a little bit more accumulation of snow in this part of in this part of uh, Nebraska. Yeah, there's no uh, sand hills. And the, the sand hills are just gone away. This is a thing of the past. Still got some windmills. We saw a badger. That was cool. But the skies are clearing up a little bit and the wind seems to be kind of tankering down a little bit. So uh, here's to safe travels. And God bless America, David. God bless America. This is Hay Springs, Nebraska we're going to right now. Good old look at that old Springs. John Deere. Pull my John Deere up to the old uh, bed and breakfast. Yep, so that was Hay Springs and then we were just listening to, <laughs> listening to some guy on the radio, right? Just just this creeper radio guy. <laughs> what was he what was he saying? <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of creepy stuff. I mean it, it, you had to, you, one of those things you had to be there for. <laughs> well, that was Hayes, Hayes Springs, Nebraska for you, folks. Sandbar, no shortage of sand out here. No shortage, no shortage of sand. Nebraska's got three things, cattle, corn, and sand. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. Wait, what did that guy say on the radio about his coffee cup? Ooh, it looks like my coffee's getting a little bit low, dude. Yeah. South Dakota. Seems like a cute little town, really. Kyle, which way are we going? 18 or 385? The Bible sent us north. 18 makes a swoop. 
really wanted to get a shot of the Black Hills. Literally just turned the camera on. Just turned, and now we're out. And of now we're out of the Black Hills. We just took the gateway to the not Black Hills anymore. <laughs> oh wait, there's some more Black Hills. <laughs> there's some more Black Hills. Get the Black Hills. I mean, we're completely surrounded by berms on either side of the road right now. It's really hard to zoom in on anything. We're surrounded by what? Burrums. Burrums. Oh, there's some Black Hills. Oh, yeah. The Black Hills of South Dakota. I've never, I don't think I've ever been through the Black Hills of South Dakota before. Nope. I've been like close. I think I've driven through parts of South Dakota before, but I've never been to the actual Black Hills of South Dakota. I don't know if Kyle has either. No, I think this is a first for both of us. And I can't imagine most people that are watching this have ever been to the Black Hills either. I think right now we're towards the, uh, towards the top of the Black Hills. Like we're at, we're at the, the, the crest. Yeah, this is probably the highest point. We're pretty elevated right now. Yeah. Nope, that's a higher point over there. So this, now we're coming down the other side of the south of the Black Hills. It looks like it's official scene. Wow, that's a cool view, right? Yeah, it is. I don't know if this camera's going to be able to give it justice, but this is just a sea of buttes and snow. I mean, this this landscape just got raked by a snowstorm the last couple of days, and we're just looking out over this endless sea of snow drift and North and South Dakota butte. It really just kind of makes you feel really small. I'm hunting. Looking for a come Look at the Black Hills. We're leaving the Black Hills. Leaving now. the Black Hills. This is freaking awesome. Now I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting. Looking for a come -up. This is freaking awesome. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. Don't dig it. About to bag it up. I'm gonna pop some tags. Don't dig it. About to bag it up. What did you think of the Black Hills of South Dakota, David? I thought the Black Hills were cool. Like, it's interesting, just like, you're going through the plains and the wide open plains, starting in Kansas, coming north, it's all just totally flat, totally flat, and then you sort of get into a little bit of the sand hills of Nebraska, it gets a little hilly, and then just kind of out of the plains, out of nothing, just the Black Hills just pop up, and all of a sudden you've got trees and you've got forest. And, and then just like that, cool. it's gone. And then just like that, it's gone. So what do you think your favorite, what do you think your highlight of the, of the Black Hills of South Dakota was like. What do you think was like your your favorite moment while driving to the Black like the, Hills in like South the, Dakota? The, out of the thirty minutes that I spent there. Yep, yep. Now that you've gone, now that you've come all the way through the Black Hills. Well, I liked going into that gas station in Hot Springs, South Dakota, and fucking seeing like this like six foot five. Oh, 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 oh.